Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be discussing one of the important questions of module four, which is uh, sorry, module three, which is regarding drawing of a perceptron and implementing an AND function. Also, they have asked why is that a single layer perceptron cannot be used to represent XOR function. So, what are the steps you need to follow for this one and drawing of the perceptron? What are the weight values? Everything we'll be discussing in this video. Stay tuned and watch till the end. Make sure the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And uh, without wasting any more time, let's get started. The question I have written here and we'll be solving this first, then we'll be discussing on this reason. This is a five mark question, very simple one. You can easily do this in three minutes. Okay. So um, what is a perceptron? I'll be uh, showing you a, a representation. But first, what they have asked and function, right? So what you have to do is uh, draw the truth table for and function. What will be the truth table for and function? You'll be having two columns A and B here, and you'll be having A and B. 0, 0 means 0, 0, 1 means 0, 1, 0 means 0, 1, 1 means 1. Only in the case where it is 1 and 1, you will be having 1 here, okay? So our truth table is ready. Next uh, thing is to draw a perceptron. Perceptron is very simple. You just have to draw two uh, inputs here, like circles, which is A and B. Then after that, you can assign some weights here. Initially, I have assigned as 0 0.6, okay? Because for this question, you have to assign as 0 0.6. Remember, in the exam, if they ask, don't take any random weights. Take 0 0.6, you'll get the correct answer. And that will be passed here and the summation function will happen and here also some things will happen and you'll get the output. Okay, so this is what uh, all you have to draw for the perceptron. After you have drawn that, you have to do some calculations as well, like to check each of these results for this given weight, is, is it correct or not. So how will be our uh, results is that first you have to consider the first case A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0. A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0. All, all we have to do is that 0 into 0 0.6 plus 0 into 0 0.6. 0 is taken from A and into 0 0.6 is A split plus B0 is taken here and B0.6 weight is taken here. When you multiply it and add it up, you'll be getting a zero answer. Whatever answer you get, if it is less than one, our final output will be zero. Okay, I'll, I'm repeating. Whatever answer we get, if it is less than one, our final answer will be zero. Okay, that's the condition we have set. I'll be checking the second one in the same way. A is equal to zero, B is equal to one. So it will be zero into 0 0.6 plus one into 0 0.6. What will be our answer? 0 0.6. It is less than one? Yes. So our final output will be zero. Third one, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0. Again, we'll get the same thing. 1 into 0 0.6 plus 0 into 0 0.6. So we'll be getting a 0 0.6. That is less than 1. So our answer is 0. Last one, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1. We'll be having 1 into 0 0.6 plus 1 into 0 0.6, which is 1.2. It is greater than or equal to 1. So our final output will be 1. Now, all what we have to compare is that whenever we get an answer, we have to check if that corresponding result is matching with the AND operation here or not. If it is 0 and 0 here, then it's correct. If it is 0 and 0 here, it's correct. If it is 0 and 0 here, it is correct. Okay. And if it is 1 here, I am getting the correct answer. Like that, they can ask for the OR operation or the XOR operation, operation as well. I have discussed that in the theory video. You can watch that. Module 3, part 2. Okay. So, you can uh, be prepared with that if they are, in case they ask that. But if they ask AND, this is the answer. Okay. So that was about the uh, first part of the question, which is implement an AND function. A very important uh, reason why is a single layer uh, perceptron cannot be used to represent an XOR function. Let's have a look at that. In the XOR, uh, let's have a look at what is the XOR function. In the XOR function, if both are 0 or both are 1, at that time, we will be having the outputs as 0. XOR means exclusive OR. Exclusively, it should be OR. Means only one of them should be true. Only one of them should be true. Neither both nor nothing. Both of the case, it will be 0. If any one only is true, it will be true, else it will be false. Now, why is that a single layer perceptron cannot be used in this case? Single layer perceptron means you'll be having one line which will be segregating the zeros and the ones. If you can achieve this, you'll be able to use a single level perceptron. But in this case, we are not able to use a single line to segregate it. Why? Because uh, see this uh, graph here. The blue thing is nothing but the uh, zeros and the uh, red thing is nothing but the one. Okay, one uh, answer. So our first case, what we have, 0 and 0. Okay, like this only you have to make in the exam as well. So pay attention. A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0. When A and B both are 0, you are getting the final answer as 0. So A and B, this is the A axis, this is the B axis. For A and B, when both are 0, I am plotted uh, blue point here. 1 and 0, you are getting 1. 1 and 0 means A is 1 and B is 0. A is 1, B is 0, here I am getting red point. So that is uh, for 1, in the same way, 0 and 1 is here. And 1 and... 1 is 0, so 1 and 1 is here. Now you can take any line here. <coughs> Your wish. You can uh, draw it in any fashion like this, like this, like this, like this. Whatever you do, you cannot uh, make a line, single line, which will uh, uh, put all the blue points in one point and put all the red points in one side. It cannot happen. Okay, that's what the reason we'll be uh, not using this one. Um, XOR operation. Why? Because we cannot segregate a single line using a single perceptron. Okay, that was the reason. 
and for more details watch the theory video and that's all for this video make sure hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you so much for watching my channel